Good morning children. This video is for anyone who's working in the pyramid group. Please do the starter first, which is multiplication questions using the four times table. So today's learning children, we are going to be adding a two digit number by another two digit number where we are crossing the tens. Now we're going to use Dean's to help us and I'm going to model as well what it's like, what you, how it, what it looks like when writing it down and crossing the tens. So I'll take our first question, which is this one here. We've got these here, our orange represent our tens, so they're worth 110, and our white ones represent 111. One, one. And it says here we've got four tens and five ones here, three tens and five, five ones there. So what we're gonna use the deans to help us. Now, when we're adding up, we always add up the ones first. So we've got five here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that means we've got ten ones all together. Now, when we've got ten ones all together, that is the same as one ten. So this equals exactly 110. Now, to write that on our worksheet, which we've got here, because we've got, we've now replaced that, we don't actually have any ones left. We've just got an extra 10. Now, because we've got no ones left, we're going to put a zero. Now, because we've got that 10, which we've got, which has been carried over this is where we talk about crossing the tens it, this 10 goes underneath here as an extra 10. now we're going to count how many tens we've got here together so we've got one two three four five six seven so four plus three is seven but don't forget we have that extra one so we add on to that means we've got eight tens. So in this box here, we've got eight. So this is 45 plus 35 equals 80. We've got something similar here. Find the missing digit. So we've been given a value in this tens box, this tens box, but we're missing here. And we've got a value in the ones there there and there now we're going to use again our deans here to help us solve this question so i'm just going to create that question for you now so we've got three tens there four ones then we've got two more tens and here we've got one two three four five six seven eight ones okay now i appreciate that some of you may not have these to hands but this is this is you can do this by just counting these up as you go along so you can uh, this is just to understand the visual representation when you're when you're looking watching the video so when you're doing it you can just count up now we've got to count up these ones together so you would count these individually so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so i know i've got twelve here now, this is going to be the same as we had last time. When your number, when you add your ones together and it is greater than nine, so 10 or more, you need to cross the tens. You need to add, you need to convert 10 ones into a 10. So right there, we've got 10 ones. So this 10 will actually go underneath the tens so we can get rid of those tens there but we do have two remaining now because we've got two remaining that is why we've got two there so now we need to add up these tens together so we've got one two three four five one two three four five but because we've got that extra ten that we had to cross over we now need to add that as well 
So we've actually got six there. So we've got six. So our answer is together 60, 62. You would have six tens in there by crossing over. We've got an, our next question here is, is this true or false? Now we're going to do this without the deans because I know that some, a lot of you won't have this apparatus to hand. So I'm going to show you how to do this without using the deans. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we've got nine now. I want to just write nine there just to help us. And I want you to do the same. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're doing nine plus six. Now, if we are to do nine plus six, you can use, now you can use counters, coins, pasta shells, whatever you want to help you count if you can't do nine plus six in your head. So we can do that now with some Dean. So we've got, just as my counters, we've got eight, we've got nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we've got our six there, plus or nine equals 15. Now, because we've got 15, we need to put, a, we can't put two numbers in one box. So we've got our five there, which is represented there. But that one, if I remember, if we remember that you, 10 ones, is the same as 110. So we have those five remaining that we said, the five remaining there, but we need to convert that those 10 ones into 110, which we've done, and we carry that across underneath. Now we need to add these together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we've got six, but we must remember to add this extra one here. So that's seven. So this needs to have seven. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 75. Is this true or false? It's true. How they've worked this out, because they've carried this across, crossing into the next tens, we've crossed into the tens, we've got seven altogether, 75. Now circle the incorrect sum that does not equal the answer shown below. So this is the key bit of information, incorrect. So we need to work out what is this answer here. So we've got one, two, three. So we've got three ones and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six tens. So that's six tens, three ones. So we need to find the answer that will equal 63. Now we can use this by using a written method. Now if we do take the first one, 38 plus 25. And now we're going to see it in its written method to help you. 8 plus 5, well, we're going to do that on our fingers. So we're going to count 5 onto 8. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We've added 5 onto 8 and our answer is 13. Now, because we've got, it's greater than 9, because our answer is, we're going to put three there and our one is going to be here. Now we're going to add these together. Three plus two. So three plus two. So four, five plus the extra one, six. So that's our total there, 63. That's our answer, 63. It says circle the incorrect. So the one that's wrong. So because we know this is right, this is our wrong answer. Now, what I'd like you to do is actually pause the video and do the first question, the first column of questions on your task sheet. Once you've done that, come play the video again and we're going to do the second part. Off you go. Now, welcome back and we're now going to do the second part. This one is very much to just using a written method. Now, again, like I said, you can use counters, coins, pasta shells, anything that you want to use to help you count, or you can use your fingers. So, we, and we're going to use fingers in this less in this part of the video. Eight plus three, so we've added three onto eight, so nine, ten, eleven. Don't forget, we put one there, and because we've got eleven, we've got a double-digit number. We must carry the one, which is in the tens, across. Now we're going to do three plus four plus one, so three plus four, so adding four onto three. Four, five, six, seven. Don't forget to add that extra one, eight. 
81. Now here it's asking us to do the missing digit again. Here these are just counters. So what we can do just here is actually count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got seven plus four. So four into seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So we've got our one there. We're just gonna put a one down there. We have to make sure that we carry that across. Now we've got one, two, three. So we've got three plus three. So three onto three, three, four, five, six. Don't forget to add the one, seven. It's really important that we don't forget that one, children, because if we forget that one, our answer is always going to be wrong. Another question here, true or false? Eight plus two, uh, 18 plus 42 equals 50. Now if we've got eight plus two, so we're adding two onto eight, we've got nine, 10. So we're gonna put zero there, which is already there, and we're gonna carry that one across, because we're crossing into the tens. Now we need to add this plus this plus this. So one plus four, or four plus one, four plus one is, so adding four and one onto four, five, then add the other one, six. So this should actually be 60. So was they were they correct? True or false? False. It was incorrect because they put 50 when the answer should have been 60. And again here, we've got another one. Circle the incorrect sum that does not equal the answer shown below. A bit different to the last one we did, as there are three questions, calculations that we've got. So one of these isn't going to be correct. And we've got the incorrect, or circle the incorrect sum. So the our answer here, we've got three in the ones, and in our tens, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got to find the incorrect sum. We're gonna start with this one here. 48 add 15. Eight plus five, so five onto eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we're gonna put the Three there and the one there. Four plus one equals five, plus another one, six. 63, so that's correct. So that we can't, that's not the incorrect one, so we're gonna leave that like that. Now we're gonna add this one together. 29 add 32. Nine plus two, so 10, 11. Remember, we have to cross that Carry that tens over into the tens column. Two plus three. Well, so we're going to add the three, four, five. Add one more, six. And our answer here is 61, which is different to this answer here. So this must be our incorrect sum. So we can circle this. That's your video for today's learning. Um, please now do the other two uh, columns of work. And best of luck.